Hello everyone, welcome back to Jenna Voice. So today's video I wanted to make all about the next steps to take when you are offered an audition. You've made it to the next step, but now you have to get ready for the really tough part, which is the live audition. Dealing with that kind of pressure can be really overwhelming, so here are some helpful steps that I've put together that will help you prepare yourself for that moment. So first of all, logistically, you need to organize your traveling and your housing situation, assuming this is out of state for you or out of town at least. Unfortunately, a lot of programs will only give you maybe two weeks notice. So if you need to buy a plane ticket or a train ticket, you should do that as soon as possible before prices go up even higher and figure out where you're going to stay while you were there. If you are on a budget like a lot of singers out there, I would highly recommend looking into Airbnb for a place to stay for a night or two, depending on how long you're at that location for auditioning. Uh, also, you know, see if you have any friends from other programs you've done that live nearby, you know, ask if you can crash at their place. Offer to buy them dinner or groceries or something to compensate you staying with them, but a lot of people will more likely than not be willing to let you crash on their couch for a night or two if you need a place to stay. All right, so the next thing you need to do is to check back at the audition requirements noted on the initial application. If you're like me and you've been filling out a ton of applications, you more likely than not don't remember off the top of your head the repertoire requirements for the live audition. So check back with those and make sure you have everything that you need for all of their requirements and start getting that ready to go. My next tip is to practice the audition. Actually rehearse your time walking into the room, introducing yourself, picking the first piece you're going to sing, introducing that piece, and all those sort of logistics. Even practicing in your heels if you're a girl can be really helpful in making you more comfortable in feeling out how this audition might go. Of course, we can never predict how the space is going to look, what our accompanist will sound like if we're going out of town, all of these variables that we don't have control over, but we do have control over how we introduce ourselves, how we walk into a room, how we introduce our first piece, and the more you practice that, the more comfortable you will feel with that. In addition, make sure you sing through all of the repertoire that you're going to bring for that audition because you have no idea what the panel will choose for a second piece if they request to hear one. So you need to make sure you feel absolutely comfortable in all of the repertoire you're bringing and feel 100% ready for whatever they choose for you. And finally, as it gets closer to the live audition, you need to get all of your materials together. Make sure your resume is updated and printed as well as your headshot if they ask for it. Even if they don't, just bring some just in case as well as a rep list and bring a few copies of each just in case something gets damaged. In addition, choose what you want to wear to the audition, even your hair, you know, if you need to practice putting on your hair and makeup and singing in your audition outfit to make sure you're completely comfortable, absolutely do that. Take that time to do that. And finally, make sure your accompanist binder is ready to go and organized so that their part of the audition goes as smoothly and easily as possible. I do plan to make a separate video just on how to organize your accompanist binder, so stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, so those are my tips on getting ready for the live audition. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you want to share it with your singer friends, please do so. And if you have a live audition coming up, I wish you all the best. Please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please do to keep up with more videos like this one. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.